Every day she's gonna wake up and say something. She's hurt. I think man. you enjoy being she's on the T page. You don't upload on YouTube. I like every day I say something, bro. I've been on the that was Lord, a I've been on the for a whole week straight because bro, of you, bro. Bro, you're bro. I'm about to get off here. You was a little boy, like your little ugly ass bitch that's next to you. Whoa. <laughs> nobody next to you. Y'all already know what's going on in this video, man. Today's sponsor for this video is going to be the one, the only, the coldest water, man. If you have not copped your own coldest water bottle, man, what are you doing with your life? They got all different styles, all different colors for you. The link will be in my description down below for 10% off, man. All you have to do is type in my discount code TDL10, okay? TDL10, it will give you 10% off of your very own coldest water bottle, man. I'm not gonna take too much of your time. Let's get right into this video, man. And let's get it. What is good? Diamond Dynasty, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this video today. Today, 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 man, what we have is Joel and Lauren. It's a little beef going on with Joel and with Lauren, okay? I don't know exactly what's going on, but I do know that Joel has showed up as an ain't shit ass nigga. Time and time again, Lauren has taken him back time and time again. It's the typical scene that we see with Uncle Joe, who's still a hoe up the street, is fucking all these bitches and telling them exactly what they want to hear. It's the exact same scenario, except it's with Joel and Lauren, okay? Public figures. If you don't feel love today, I just want to let you know that I appreciate you so much. I love you for stopping by to this video to even tune in tap in with me is crazy as hell Words can't express or explain how much I appreciate each and every one of you guys Whether you agree with my opinion whether you disagree whether you love me you hate me if you clicked on this video If you've ever clicked on any of my videos if you ever clicked on the diamond life at all man I appreciate you so fucking much man. I really really do this channel would be nothing without you I want to make it known that I genuinely 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 do fucking appreciate the shit out of you man shout out to YouTube as well for giving me the opportunity to make money doing something like this you know what I'm saying like wow such a blessing but anyway guys let's get into this video make sure you like comment subscribe hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post another little ass video make sure that you DM me at the diamond life 888 let me know what I should be reacting to next make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell they ain't your mom to their uncle Joe he's still a hoe let's get right into this video man let's get it five percent uh oh how is that happening I still got my stocks and shit in the background. Hold on, let me silence. Market buy. Let me mute that shit. All right, here we go, y'all. My bad. Here we go. Okay, guys. So there's just so much going on right now. Now, if you guys are keeping up with my videos, then you know that Joel apparently has a new girlfriend slash assistant. Now he's stating I didn't that know this that. is his assistant, but I don't know. It seems like it's a little bit more to. What y'all think this assistant is assisting Joel with? Comment down below. Let me know what y'all think this assistant is assisting Joel with. Let that. me know. <laughs> now his so-called assistant or whatever you want to call her oh, went shit. live on Instagram. The shade. She was actually with Joel she at cute, his though. house. And I'm guessing Lauren just had it after that. Because then she gets on Instagram live and start talking about Joel and his new girlfriend. Then Joel gets on live to start talking about Lauren. Mm. And then they end up getting on live together to All right. hash things out. So let's get so to guys, it. So guys, this is a long one. Get your popcorn ready. Oh shit, let's go. See, Come on. Like, I feel like everybody has First of all, how can we take you serious with that fucking filter, bro? <laughs> some people are not meant to some people are meant to do you want us to take you serious lauren <laughs> come on now not, um, come on like, advanced. some people handle situations oh boom i moved on some people, lauren got a little thick too let me find people out it still takes them a while to grow from it I let me find like me, out. i've always been more emotional i've always been a sympathetic person i feel a lot of emotions and i'm very like I just feel a lot, and I'm a very deep, passionate person. So when I love, I love. When I get broken, I get broken. She's an empath. It like feels like like it's everything. Like it's consuming. Like it like situations that's heartbreaking is consuming to me. So it's just like. But yeah, yeah, it's you know it's. <laughs> His assistant. Fine, but it's just like I don't know. I'm divorcing in a while. I've been moved out, so that's like divorce always ends like that. You move out. Try to work on it still. Break up in general. Working. 
So you move out, y'all tried everything. I tried everything. Jewel would sit there and lie and probably say like, it wasn't working out. No, because you did no effort. You just didn't want me no more. Mm -hmm. like it's a, a harsh of reality. They get with girls and it's just so temporary. They had this temporary relationship. I'm not looking for that. We, the world is going to end. God is real. Jesus is real. I believe in Jesus. Damn, she got dark as hell. She said the world is going to end. Yes, it will. Jesus is going to come and save <laughs> his children. Like, you're either going to go to heaven or hell. And I, we're supposed to be living on earth to serve God. You're supposed to be serving your family. Being a family. God created us to have a family. Not to mess with different people. And be hateful towards people. And just... Like, just be like... All got so everything, like, though, for sure. malicious stuff to people. That's All not got right. everything. Like, there's a thing called the book of life, and God is writing down everything. And you, everyone at the end of the, at the, end, of, at the, end of the world, you get judged. And God is going to send you to hell. He's going to say, depart from me. You go to heaven or hell. And I'm trying my best to be a follower of Jesus. And it's a good person, you know? And that's, that's what life's about. It's about being a good, a good moral, you know? Not doing wrong, not lying, not stealing, not cheating. Doing your family right, everything. I agree though. Laura's basically saying be a good fucking person. You know, at the end of the day, if you're going to be in a relationship or if you're going to be in a marriage, they were in a, whole, in a whole fucking marriage, why cheat? Just leave. Get a divorce before you step out on your wife. You know, if you're in a relationship, why cheat? Break up with the bitch before moving on to the next one. You know, simple. Don't steal. You know, all of this shit. But at the end of the day, too, we are human beings as well. All right. And we all have different paths. We all have a different journey. So I'm not here to bash Joel. You know, I'm not here to bash Lauren for staying in the situation for way too long. Because how many of us how many of us have overstayed our welcome in a relationship before? I'm sure it's plenty of us, many of us, you know. So Everybody is on their own fucking journey and everybody's learning at a different pace. Maybe you'll get it in this lifetime, maybe next lifetime, maybe in a year, maybe or two, you know, uh, two years. But y'all let me know how y'all feel so far. And these motherfucking lawnmower ass niggas are back again for another motherfucking video. And it's like every time I want to turn on the camera, these niggas want to cut the motherfucking grass. Anyway, let's continue. Let me turn it up. So I just like, it's embarrassing, bro. Molly's in your favorite in it. Or you find someone better. Yeah, I can't wait. The thing is, too, like, I know what... That's another thing. Stop trying to find somebody else and find yourself. Stop trying to find someone else to make you happy and make your own self happy. Stop searching outside of yourself for validation and approval and love from others and material things. And start searching for that shit within because it's always been there and it always will be there. You just have to acknowledge it, you have to recognize it, you have to tap into it. Tap into that motherfucking frequency, you know, and stop be stop being blinded by this third dimensional re third dimensional reality that's out here, you know, and these fucking lawnmowers are loud as fuck, and I totally do apologize. What the hell? I'm getting a little freaked out, y'all, because I caught two wasps in here, y'all. Two wasps. One in our guest room and one in our living room. There's no cracks in any glass or windows that I can see. So I don't know if these niggas are coming through the vents. But y'all let me know what I can check. Because pest control has been here. Maintenance man has been here. And they can't find any way that these wasps are getting in. If you have encountered a situation like this before, please let me know. Because I need help. Alright? I don't want any more wasps disturbing my peace. But anyway. Like when I move on, which I'm not ready because it's just not in me. Like it's going to take me a while to heal and just to even trust in God. Because like... Guys, hit on my time and it's just cringe to me. I'm just like, but yeah, eventually I, I know I will find someone good for sure. I know I will because I'm so mature. But that's why I don't hang with nobody. Like I live in Houston. I live in the part, this the city. I live in the, the freaking city of nightlife parties all the time, going out hookah bars. I can easily meet. But I'm so mature. Like when I find someone, I want to find the perfect guy, someone that's so mature. But I don't have to keep. Dealing with like, like no little boy tendencies, like pace. But I'm so mature and beyond that. I don't have time for that. I'm an unproblematic person. I don't have time for that. Everything could be so simple. Like I'm such a communicative person. I'm forgiving. Like it's it's simple to me. It's simple, and it's just little things that it's just so like like posting the girl. It's just immature. Like 
I'm not even jealous. She's not cute. She's 19 years old. She has nothing on oh, me. Oh, shit. She's not a business woman. She has nothing on me. You fucking with me. a baby. I know I would succeed. Even without YouTube doing drugs, I know I would succeed. I knew I was destined for greatness. You I'm starting my business. Baby. And my business will flourish. God got Talk me. I'm shit. doing right in my heart. I'm doing right, period. I'm taking care of my kids. I'm out of here being malicious towards no one. You know, but it's just embarrassing. It's embarrassing, bro. And then just... People are like, Lauren, where's your side? So we on social media, you gonna show you how to talk. You can't be mad at me because I'm talking when you just exposing us. So I'm, you just out there. I'm out there to be to discuss you guys. Y'all don't even know the half of it, but it's like sometimes people are just so blind. They just can't see beyond their self. Mm. It's not, it's like, mm. he's just, you can't even blame because it's just, he's that, like, it just doesn't make sense. Mm. Mm -hmm. Charge with the support. No, hey, but she's way better than you. That girl mm. just has a butt. Like she's African or something. That don't mean nothing. People are so weird. I have a butt too. I have a nice booty. I, I got a butt too, you. actually. Yeah, I got one too. <laughs> Y'all got one too. But no. It doesn't look good to be judging the next girl though. Because now you just sound bitter and jealous, to be honest, guys. So, ladies out there. If your man or your woman is seeking out somebody else or talking to somebody new, don't talk shit about the girl, man. Don't do it because it makes you look lower value and it makes you look like you're jealous. Even if you're not jealous at all and even if you do feel like you're so much better than her or whatever it is, I feel like if you really felt that way, then you wouldn't have anything negative to say about the girl, to be honest, you know? But hey, y'all let me know how y'all feel. Oh, like, true, and I'm going to Columbia next week, too. So I'm getting my teeth more natural. She's showing them teeth. I, I see you. Like big, I'm trying to get my done. Going in, but, um, I need mine done. No, that's what I was saying. Like people just go for girls with big butts. That's so little boy, small minded. What do you guys get out of dating girls with these big butts? <laughs> like I don't understand. Like she's a big butt. That is not. I'm way prettier than her. And I have more brains than her. She's Whoa. stupid. Whoa. What? I don't want to talk down on nobody, but she's Whoa. she's dumb because like she's a woman. I feel like us women need to be so much smarter, bro. I don't care. Like, no money or person is that serious. And as is, I'm screaming. That's my trainer, y'all. She mad, y'all. I have she a nice mad. body, a very nice body. And I want to grow into my body eventually, period. Like, it just seems like Lauren needs to love herself, you know? And what I'm getting, the vibe that I'm getting from this video, is she doesn't feel like she's enough, you know? And I could be wrong. But I get the vibe that Lauren does not feel like she is enough. Because if you feel like you're enough, why would you try to down somebody else? For what? Be happy for them. If they want to, you know, motherfucking skip down the yellow brick road in the motherfucking sunset, <laughs> clap for them, you know? Because you know your worth and you know that that nigga missed out. But in my opinion, she's doing too fucking much, man. You're doing too much and it's making you look very insecure and very jealous and very just, you know, I don't know, y'all. Don't play with me. She, she's, no, she's 19. She has nothing on me, bro. It's just out of respect. But people be ruthless. People don't be caring to remarry. They don't care to remarry. Oh, you, they don't... you don't want to be with me no more. Bro, I need y'all to go. This nigga's in the middle of a whole motherfucking thunderstorm, nigga. Oh, Lauren lied and tell her to get off. She's making herself look stupid. I hate to say it, but he's kind of right. I hate to say it. Don't go online. Don't go on IG Live talking about his new chick because you look insecure. I just got done saying it. She didn't want to be with me no more. We agreed to break up. She didn't want to be with you because you an ancient ass nigga who cheated. From what I heard. Okay, I wasn't there. I don't know. But from what we all hear, he was an ancient ass nigga who cheated on her. So of course she wouldn't want to be with you. I'm not about to go back and forth for the internet. The internet don't. I don't do the T page bull crap. I don't do none of that. I need y'all to go on her lot. Yet we're here. I'm to tell her to get off. She need help. She's not mentally stable. She stays on the T page. She rents the people that don't care about her. That don't know her. She needs to love herself. Literally, go That's on all. her page and tell her to get off. Love yourself, She's sitting Lord. there complaining to a phone. I'm dead serious. Tell her girl to get off. She's she's not mentally there. I don't know what's wrong with her. But I'm just gonna clear up my name. I'm tired of being on this T page and I haven't spoke out about this. People, yeah, y'all tired of this. Y'all tired of both of us. It's not me, it's Lauren. 
And I always told her I would never speak out and bash her name, but all she do is bash my name and make it seem like I'm some scum, make it seem like I'm the worst person in the world. You know what I'm saying? And I'm tired of this. Because all she trying to do is damage control. Look, Lauren is the type of girl, if she don't have me, nobody's going to have me. I am single, and that's how it's going to be. She paint this picture like I'm the most terrible guy ever. Which I'm not. Does. All I she do does. is take care of my family. I just gave a girl sixty thousand dollars like four days ago. She just bought her new car. I'll take it. Art. I gave her that money. <laughs> she don't talk I'll about that it. stuff, bro. All she do is ramble and ramble and ramble about me. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired of this. I don't like being on the T page, but this is the last time I'm speaking about this. I am not. In a relationship with one, we are officially done. We haven't uploaded on YouTube in like a year and a half. Damn, we have really? not been together with, and that's what we do. As you can see, we have kids. I don't like being on the internet. I don't do this internet. So upload my videos and I chill. She get mad when she said, "Girl, me and Lauren don't talk." She got me blocked, so she don't know what's going on. She don't know what I got planned on YouTube. What team I'm gonna start? She just send something on the internet. That's why I said go on the internet. I mean, go on her live and tell her to get off because she's making herself look retarded. Oh, come on now. She's All right, Joel. Look so retarded. She's All comparing right. herself to a girl that don't have, bro. And the girl didn't do nothing wrong. She's just trying to make people hate the girl and hate me for no reason. Yeah, that's All we yeah. doing is just videos. You know what I'm saying, bro? I don't have time for this. I'm about to get off. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm not going live with her. I'm not about to. No, this is. I really don't want to go live for her. But you did, though. I really don't. Let me you go did. back to the music. Because I don't want nobody getting paid off me. You know what I'm saying? I just have to go clear up my name because I know it's going to be on the T page tomorrow. Uh, and she's not about you to right. play crazy. You're right. Be you us. Right. She's just rambling along. She needs to go to a mental institution. Okay, now you're doing the most. She's not stable. Her or her family's not. That's still your baby moms, though. You know, have some type of respect. Stable. All right. He's saying he's not married. Yeah, yeah, he's just going to keep lying. He, he said that to all his girls, too. He said it to all his girls. He's a liar. Let me, I'm, I'm going to grab the marriage certificate. Let me grab the marriage certificate, y'all. I'm about to grab this. All of this shit is petty, y'all. Why is this online? Which I Why? shouldn't even have to do this, but I'm going to just show y'all live. Like, she really going through her private documents. Of course, we're, we're, of course on, we're married. Bro. Like, Hold it on. Ain't Let's get wrong. to this. That is just wrong. We're married, but that's the goal, I promise. Because I'm, 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 I'm much to say. <laughs> All I want to know is, you're enjoying this. I'm dead serious. It's not funny. You, <laughs> Lauren, you're on the internet talking about our relationship to the world. They don't need to know stuff. That's true. Like you don't understand. You need help. That's true. That's true. Like, if we don't want to be with each other, why are you on the internet? Only You're embarrassing, home? bro. You're embarrassing. It ain't embarrassing. It Lord, is. If you I feel like Lauren is so desperate for Joelle's attention at this time that she will go to the internet and actually spill their business, you know? She's sowing her feelings. And I'm not saying that she's wrong at all. I'm just saying that she could go about it a different way and handle it offline. I always say, man, keep personal business and private business offline, bro. It has no business being in front of people who don't even fucking know you on a personal level. It has no business to be everybody's business. Period. What y'all think? Let me know in the comments. Get it, man. I'm going to be mad, but I'm not going to be on the internet talking to somebody I don't know and be like, oh, yeah. This about one nigga. Let me be, and I'm not even with the girl. That's the crazy part. I'm doing. And the thing is, Lauren, she's probably laughing earlier, and this is probably so self gratifying because she can actually converse with this nigga. You know, even if it's not on a positive tip, at least she's getting some type of attention or some form of attention from him. And that's all she's really been wanting. But she needs to seek happiness within herself. You know, and value herself. On a business move, leave me alone. Every time I've been on the T page, it's been because of you. <laughs> You're not stable enough to keep your mouth closed and stay off the internet. Every time something happens, you okay. run to the internet. And yeah. you, I told you, you know, I know you, you know how I feel about that. I, t I said, Lauren, I don't like my business being on the internet. Every time something happens, such and such, such, such. You talk about, hold on, hold on, hold on. You talk about other people, and you like, all they do is run to the internet, and you worse than them. If you want to be technical. I, I, no, 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 no. I can come out here and say what I want. If I want to 
Like but you're doing the same thing. You're doing hey, the same why? thing. She missing the point. Why do it have to be about me? Why can't it just be lies? Okay. Why, you all, why are you talking about me? Why are you talk, like? Why are you judging me? This is Lauren's way of venting. It's her cry out for help, you know? Because you should not be voicing. I understand sometimes you want to vent and shit like that, but goddamn, you know what I'm saying? There comes a point to where it's like, all right, you know, y'all are done. Handle that shit offline, you know? Like, what What the hell? Like, why are you, why you talking about me? Yep. Why? Because I can't talk about you. What do you mean? That's us. Lord, <laughs> if you don't want to be with me and I don't want to be with you, leave me alone. That's mm. what I was asking for. But I was never messing with you. You can have a tea because you're Lauren, yourself. listen it's, to what I'm saying. I will. Lauren, 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 if I don't want to be with you and if you don't want to be with me, let's leave each other alone on the internet. Don't she can't let it go. She can't let it go. You. you can't. You can't get that through your head because you just want to wake up every day and talk about it. That's all you want to do. <laughs> My life do not revolve around you. I definitely do not get on here and talk just about you. Like, I'm, I'm Who's in the background you, laughing? Because you keep saying the same stuff. I'm about to just end you. You keep saying the, I'm on here because I want to be on here. All right. So, all right. All right. So why are you on the internet right now talking about this? Just why? You, you just said that like five times. Why? Because this is definitely because you're a thot, bro. You're a thot. She, she's in her feelings, basically. She's hurt, y'all. Like, she's hurt. Still? She's hurt. You're a she's thot, hurt. bro. That's why. Bro, this is ever this is ever gonna end. Every day she's gonna wake up and say something. She's hurt. I think man. you enjoy being she's on hurt. the T-Face. You don't upload on YouTube. I like every day I say something, bro. I've been on the T-Face. That was Lord, a I've been on the for a whole week straight because bro, of you, bro. Bro, there's no point in bro. I'm about to get off here. You was a little boy, like your little ugly ass bitch that's next to you. Whoa. <laughs> nobody there's nobody next to you. All right, y'all. My camera shut off. Let's try this shit again. She have nothing to do with anything. You should be a bigger person. No. You talking to? You talking you about like girls. an eighteen-year-old? That's why you hang with eighteen-year-olds. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's listen. You talking to a girl? <laughs> she you is never hurt. Met a day in your life. You trying to make her look beneath you to make you look good, make you look worse. No, I don't that. do that to make me look good. So why are you talking <laughs> about somebody that you don't know? She just hurt, man. That's what it comes down to. Think about to. that, You talking about somebody you never met? She basically saying any girl he messes with is a thought because they're still married. So in her mind, she has a very traditional mindset on marriage. And if we're still married and we haven't been divorced yet, I don't care. You still shouldn't be fucking with other bitches. That's basically what she's saying. And if a bitch is still fuck, if a bitch chooses to fuck on you, knowing that you're still married, whether y'all are separated or whatever it is, she feels like they're a thought and you a thought too. Let me know how y'all feel about that in the comment section down below. Lying. We're still married, bro. That means something to her. That means bro, something you, to her. How do you even know you're in your butt? That's publicly saying we're having sex. Lord, Lord. That's Lord, how you know? Sin. We're still married. Oh but how you know <laughs> I'm hitting that? How do you know I'm hitting Come on, Joel. Joel, you, you was obsessed with sex, bro. So she bro, just stop talking about for no reason. Listen. You, listen, bro. I don't. Oh, so what I say is oh, not new, bro. bro. T-Pain supposed to do their stuff. She didn't just tag you for no reason. You look. They do at got a couple of kids. Sexual, bro. You wait till you're not married no listen, more. Lord, Lord, out of respect. Listen, listen. <laughs> oh my Linda, God. Linda, I Linda, I listen. I tell you my business moves on the internet. Listen, listen. I cannot. Remember, you got me blocked. I can't say what I'm about to do on the internet. You don't know this. You don't know about my marketing. All you don't know about none of this. You're literally cussing a girl I've <laughs> never met before. How you don't know she. You don't know how she at. Bro, I'm out. I'm, I already said what I have to say. That's hey, fine. I already have to say what I have to say. You, you crazy. Mm. I'm not going to lie. You she crazy, crazy about you, Joel. She crazy about you. Let me ask you this. 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 Let me 
Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Comment down below, you guys. Let me ask you this. There's nothing crazy about me. I'm just expressing how I feel because I can't. I have a platform. I can tell how I feel. So why are you trying to do that? All right. So why are you trying to do damage control? I'm doing damage control. I'm expressing how I feel. If they don't support you, I'm not going to Listen, listen. That's on your own. I'm not doing damage control. I don't care. If you want to do that, do another couple shares. That's on you. Did I say come unsubscribe from Duel? No. I'm expressing how I feel because that's the point of the internet. You get to express how you feel. I have a voice. I can talk if I want to. You why don't you the internet? There's nothing crazy about me. I'm very rational. Why are you I don't, hey, I don't why have to disrespect. Internet? Why <laughs> disrespect. I don't respect. You got girls tag you in your butt. You wait till we're fully divorced, and then you will do that, bro. But that's on you. Your sin is going to eat you up. You the one married and doing sexual stuff. I know I'm glad I'm married. <laughs> I hate to, I hate to laugh at Lauren Paul, baby. She's hurt. She's hurt. If we're being honest, like, you know, I feel where both sides are coming from. Joelle is saying, look, okay, even though we might be married, we're separated, okay? Kind of like a Chris and Queen situation. From what it seems like, Joelle is trying to say that you don't even know what he's doing with this assistant. It could just be for content. That's what Joelle is saying. Also, I feel like Joelle feels like, okay, even though we're in a whole marriage, if we are broken up, I guess you can't be broken up in a marriage, but if you are separated in a marriage, he can do what he wants to do and she can do what she wants to do. She is very traditional when it comes to marriage and she feels like, look, even though we're separated, it doesn't mean that you can go out or I can go out and do me because we're still in a marriage. We're not divorced yet. So until we get divorced, I'm not fucking around and you shouldn't be either. So she has a more traditional approach. And that's why she's furious and that's why she's upset and that's why she feels like he's a thought she's the thought she's a thought too because anybody who fucks with a married man even if they're separated means that you're a thought and he's a thought too so i pray for you know joelle and lauren i pray for lauren especially for her to love herself for her not to depend on anybody else for love or acceptance or validation or anything approval because she's a beautiful woman, you know, she seems to have a genuine heart. She seems to mean well. I don't know her on a personal level, but I really feel like she is doing her best to be a good person, whatever the fuck that is. We're all just people at the end of the day. We do good and bad, but I feel like she does put her best foot forward to be the best that she can be, right? As far as being a mother and shit like that. But situations like this are tricky, especially when you come from two different backgrounds and you have two different mindsets on what's acceptable and what's not. And Lauren, I, I feel like she's trying to be a nuisance now because she just wants some form of attention from Joelle and it's actually backfiring though, okay? Like I always say, in my opinion, I feel like it's best to keep that shit offline. Like I said, shout out to jo Joelle, shout out to Lauren. I'm not here to judge either party. I wish both parties much love, success, prosperity, abundance, all the good things that they can have in their life and more, man. That's what we should want for our neighbor, for our mother, for our sister, for our loved ones, our strangers, and even our seemingly enemies, right? Really your biggest enemy is your inner me. So make sure that you work out what you have within, whatever trauma you have built within, whatever things that you need to let go that are no long, longer serving your happiness, make sure that you treat that enemy. That's the only real enemy is your inner me. I love you guys so much. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post another little ass video. Make sure that you DM me at the Diamond Life 888. Let me know what I should be reacting to next, baby. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell your ancient mama, tell your uncle Joe, he's still on. We'll see you guys in the next motherfucking video. I love y'all, man. Peace. We out, baby.